When we talk about aliens, we talk about the search for extraterrestrial life. We kind of mean E.T., don't we? <laughs> we mean something that we can talk to. There may be aliens in our Milky Way galaxy, and there are billions of other galaxies. The probability is almost certain that there is life somewhere in space. Well, humanity has always been on a quest for life outside the planet we call home. Though the mind-boggling idea of extraterrestrial life always seems to end in disappointment. But here, in this video, we'll embark on a journey that will let you know whether or not we are alone in this vast universe. Well, you don't want to miss this. Humanity has always been a seeker for knowledge, and this quest to quench our curiosity has never seen boundaries. At least, with the existence of the infamous question, is extraterrestrial life an essence of truth? With the arrival of advanced technologies and powerful telescopes, now space explorers are more excited than ever before as they are all set to uncover the mysteries our universe has concealed. The idea of alien life has always been something displayed in all forms of media, from the world of fiction to the celluloid empire. But now, this idea has transcended from what was previously classified as science fiction to something that might just be untold truth. Now, would you imagine if the idea of alien life was actually the truth hidden away or is yet to be discovered? It was 1967 when a young postgraduate student named Jocelyn Burnell conducted eye-opening research at Cambridge University. Jocelyn spent her days as she scanned the sky with the help of the newly constructed radio telescope with immense hope to uncover the universe's secrets. Her unwavering determination led her to find something astonishing after a few weeks. Her radio telescope had picked up a bizarre radio signal that was found to be repeating every 1.33 seconds. Initially, Burnell and her teammates dismissed this finding of theirs, considering it to be just a natural occurrence. Well, was this finding an occurrence of scientific importance? Today, we're gonna find out. Though they had kept this finding aside, the consistent nature of the pulses definitely made them curious. They went further into this, and as they investigated, they had come to a jaw-dropping conclusion. The signal had actually come from deep space, and the precise pulsations that came along with it were something they'd never seen before. This signal had given rise to a question that intrigues us even today. Was this a result of a naturally occurring phenomenon, or was it a transmission from an intelligent being? Do you want to know whether extraterrestrial life is an essence of truth? Then keep watching the video till the end. Well, the researchers had called this signal LGM-1, which is an acronym for Little Green Men. With an acronym like this, there is no doubt that alien life has attained primary suspicion when it comes to the source of this signal. Burnell grew puzzled as she found herself discovering what might be one of the first signs of life beyond Earth. Well, as time passed, the research became much more serious, and finally it became apparent that the mysterious source of this signal was not from an intelligent civilization. That's right, rather, this signal came from rapidly rotating neutron stars known as pulsars. Pulsars emit beams of radiation that can be detected with the help of radio telescopes on Earth. This might not have been how you anticipated it to be, but a decade later, something much more striking takes place. After 10 years, during the summer of 1977, Jerry Amon went through the printouts from the Big Ear radio telescope. The man felt bored until his eyes stumbled upon something, which was a string of letters within a long sequence of low numbers. This, for him, seemed to be a secret code that was hidden in plain sight. Looking at what the letters spelled out, he circled them in red ink and wrote WOW next to them. He had fallen into a moment of bliss, as if he had made a bond with extraterrestrial beings. Scientists poured in their efforts, trying to decipher the meaning of the signal, but their efforts weren't enough. Well. The so-called WOW signal has indeed created a whole lot of mystery, with it either being something humanity can't crack or their efforts aren't up to the mark. 
scientists have discovered over 5,000 exoplanets with a hundred of them dwelling in the habitable region of their respective stars. When it comes to diving deep into the mysteries of alien life, exoplanets are indeed primary targets for investigation. With NASA's James Webb Telescope currently in search of planets that are similar to Earth and might be potentially habitable, who knows, we might just stumble upon an intelligent civilization far from what we call home. Well, what for a potentially habitable planet? What all factors are humans targeting? Stay with us as we find out. Mostly, what people associate with a habitable planet is water. But the fact is that that's not all. Well, in fact, that's not even close. Apart from water, a habitable planet humanity is searching for needs an atmosphere that can regulate temperature and protect the planet against harmful radiation from its star. The planet also requires it to be protected by a magnetic field from harmful solar winds and radiation. A moon is another factor that will help in stabilizing the planet's axial tilt, which would help when it comes to the regulation of the planet's climate. Aside from this, the Great Filter is a concept that screams out the idea of encountering alien life. So, what is the Great Filter? This concept is intriguing, and it also attempts to explain why humans haven't yet found any signs of intelligent extraterrestrial life yet. The concept can be compared to a giant filter that has to be passed by all civilizations in order for it to become advanced and detect other civilizations. This challenge, or the filter that is expressed here, is compared by a plethora of things such as interstellar travel, the creation of artificial intelligence, avoiding catastrophic wars, or even solving global issues like climate change. The concept also involves the idea that several civilizations never cross this so-called filter. Though this might seem scary, we'll now hop onto a new perspective, something more scientific. The fact about scientists is that when it comes to pursuing alien knowledge, they often tend to make use of familiar terrestrial biochemistry and hope to find alien life by searching near water or by supplying hydrocarbons. There always had been an assumption that the concept of alien life is mostly based on carbon and water. This is indeed questionable and need not hold true all the time. For example, apart from relying on the water as the solvent in which biological molecules operate, think of it this way. What if extraterrestrial beings operated on things far from water? Imagine if these beings depended on things like ammonia or methane. This would be then a whole new story. In this case, forget carbon, as alien life can also be dependent on silicon, with both of them being chemically similar and the element being one of the most common of them all in the universe. Well, Silicon, surprisingly, makes up about 30% of the mass of the Earth's crust. And here's something you probably didn't know. The element is also roughly about 150 times more abundant than carbon in the Earth's crust. Moreover, there are a handful of examples here on Earth of organisms that use silicon, and this clearly opens up the chance that silicon might exist as a stage of early life on other planets, converting their atmospheres into oxygen and preparing them for more advanced life. If this is all you think silicon has to offer, then you're in for a whole new treat. Silicon is an element that is much more thermally stable when it is compared to carbon, and this element also has the ability to withstand mind-blowing temperatures. This means that a silicon-based organism could even survive in a harsh and extreme environment, such as a hot volcanic environment. The fact is that silicon-based life forms would have to make use of more energy to maintain their metabolic processes, and these life forms will be much less able to rapidly react to the various changes that take place in their environment. When it comes to silicon, though there are a plethora of uses it has for biology on our planet, the chance of it being a major building block for life based on Earth or anywhere beyond seems to be pretty low but the search for creatures from the outside still continues, weighing the possibilities and investigating the cosmos. So, what do you think about extraterrestrial life, the eye-opening chances and the astounding findings that support the possibility of life beyond Earth? 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe so that we can entertain you with more new videos.